A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I'm Pastor Jeremy Johnson. And today, as we continue in this new quarter's lesson, as we look at the subject, what happened? We look at the title for Sunday's lesson, Turtles All the Way Down. Pray with me. Everlasting Father, as we look at your words, please enlighten us that we may understand them. May we not only get a knowledge of your words, but may we be drawn closer to Jesus Christ, whom to know is life eternal. One day a scientist was teaching a class on the orbit of the planets around the sun and the orbit of the sun around the center of the galaxy, when an old lady stood up in a pair of black tennis shoes and said, the earth is a flat disk sitting on the back of a turtle. So jestingly, the scientist asked, and what does the turtle sit on? The lady responds, on another turtle. And he asked, and what is that other turtle sitting on? And she said, well, it sat on another turtle. And before he could ask the question again, she wagged her hand in the air and snapped and said, save your breath, sonny boy. It's turtles all the way down. Now, however humorous that might sound, that theory does not match up with what the Bible teaches us and even an observation of creation as to how we got here. Genesis 1 verse 1 tells us, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And many ideologies have been posited as to how we got here in the first place. And those are some of the basic fundamental questions we ask ourselves. How did we get here? What is our purpose for being here? And where are we going? Psalm 100 and verse 3, and all through our scriptures, Genesis chapter 1 and elsewhere, we find that God created this world. Some believe that it's evolution that brought it about. But when you look at the intelligent design, just look at yourself, for instance. We recognize that it could not have come out of chaos. Everything is so systematic and well-structured. And even the minutest thing that is put out of place in nature can cause cataclysmic events. And you believe that that is actually something that was circumstantial? No, even man. The Bible says we were made in the image of God according to Genesis 1, 26 and 27. And we also hear the psalmist declaring, I will praise thee, O Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Then for those who believe that we evolved from animals, monkeys or something of the sort, the big question is, if that's the situation, how is it that for millennia, thousands of years literally, based on what we found in archaeological findings and what we've seen in our generations, man has not evolved into something else. And even when he lives to see a hundred years or more, he remains uh, with the typical features of man that we've always known. My friends, God created the heavens and the earth. And not like the day's worldview believes that he did it like a giant clockwork and he set everything into motion and transcended human existence, allowing us to figure things all out by ourselves. And it just keeps going on and on and on. But even clocks need servicing at times. Hence, God never just created the world. God is the one who sustains the world, which is why you and I are enjoying another day, which is why we can stand and celebrate his goodness, which is why we have life. The Bible tells us in him we live and move and have our beings, and all things were made by him, and without him nothing exists, and all things are held together by the power of his hands. Were God to step aside for just a moment, the entire universe would disintegrate and plunge into this um, oblivion. Thank God for his creation. You are a testament that God created the world. The systematic way that nature operates is a testament that God created the world. No monkey business, no big bang business, no turtles all the way down. We were created by God in his image for his glory. And all the things we see about us were also created by him for us to enjoy. And even though sin have caused much depletion to his 
uh, creation, we can still see the pristine beauty around us. Can you imagine what life would be like when we get to his everlasting kingdom? Let us hold fast to him, trust in him, and worship our creator, our maker, and our king, that when he comes again, we may bask in the beauties of the new heaven and the new earth that he has gone to prepare for us. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Everlasting Father and our God, thank you for creating us, Lord, intelligently, like a master artist, a work of art to the honor and the glory of your name. Thank you, O oh God, for making us into your image. And sin has tarnished that image. But help us, Lord, to accept of your gift of grace through Jesus Christ to be reconciled fully to you and for your image to be restored in us that we may become one with you again. Help us to remain faithful to the very end that when you come, we may be a part of your recreation in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe and join us again tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.